With the excitement of the announcement of the AI key, I thought I would bring you an update of the Unified Protect application 5.2. Now there's a lot of big improvements in here and let's dive into them and see what they are. One of the biggest improvements within this update is this first one right here. So this has added the ability to view access device recordings within Unified Protect and receive door opening events. So you need Unify Access 3.0.4 or more or higher. And then what you're able to do is then manage your recordings within Unify Protect. And we'll look at that in just a few moments. You have the ability to add an upload and search using an image for a person of interest. You can add or import license plates manually, the ability to archive selected events. You can now encrypt the camera streams and you can create alarms based on line crossings, loitering and smart zone detections. There's an added timeline view to the detection player and we've added history for the created alarms too. There's keyboard shortcuts for the navigations within the playback itself and you can now create alarms for third party cameras using the AI port. So let's jump into Unify Protect and take a quick look. The first thing you're going to want to do within access is click this button right here. So we go to general, we want to manage recordings within protect. So we can go and apply that. And then we can go to the Unify devices and you can see right there, there's a UAG3 Pro. Once you select the door of the UAG3 Pro, you can see all the information down here. You have the recording settings and now you can set this up in recording manager, but these are the options that you have. So you can choose always recording, a custom schedule or never, and the kind of recording mode that you want. Do you want continuous recording or access events only? So you have the choice between the two. And then the final settings at the back, you can create tags or select tags to add to them. So if you want to create a tag for Dorex, and you want to tag all the cameras within there you can do that too you can share a live stream with this now as well and you can set up the rtsps this is just set up on my desk at the moment as i'm doing some testing with this you can see there's a doorbell action just here and if i scroll back you'll probably see an image of me there you go that's me right there that is how you can see the access notifications within here and you can see we just changed the mode from never to continuous or you can change it back to access event only recording the ability to search for a person of interest you literally go to people and then you go to faces and then you get a little upload button just here so you can search that and you get a little drop down and you can browse or drop a file so i have a picture of myself from one of my thumbnails so i'm going to go ahead and click confirm and then you can see it's gone ahead and found a lot of my pictures that you can see across multiple different cameras we have we have have an OMVIF camera with an AI port, we have the AI turret, and you have the option to do match confidence. So if you want it to be more accurate, you can push up to 85, 90%. I think these are, I think these are about 92, 93%. So these are fairly accurate. And if we go down, push down the, the confidence, there are a lot more that show up. You also have the ability to search for license plates. So again, you have an upload of a CSV file. If you don't have it, you can download a template and this is what the template looks like. So you have the option to type in a license plate, what the vehicle name is, and is it a vehicle of interest? Made some generic ones on there for a few of them that I know that I have. So we browse the file. We can upload the CSV and you can see right here that the car has found 21 detections and it's an SUV and it was last seen three hours ago. And then we also have the van which has had six detections which was last seen a few days ago. Another new feature we have, if you click on settings and then you go to system, you will now see in archiving, you have continuous archiving enabled. And the way this works is you can select any type of camera you have, including your door access. You can go ahead and select that or your driveway out, whatever you want, however you wanna set it up. And then you can add the type of detection. So if you wanna archive someone speaking or you wanna archive some a person or a vehicle or a license plate, you can go ahead and do those detections and get those continuously archiving throughout the day. It's not a full continuous archive, but it's a good thing to get those critical ones that you might need in the future. Sticking within the settings, if you now go to advanced, we have the stream encryption and you can see secure the stream between the camera and the NVR to prevent unauthorized access on your local network. Uh, it's not supported on the G3 and the G2 range. So if you are using those cameras, you won't be able to encrypt the stream. Going to the alarm manager, you now can create alarms based off loitering, smart detection zones and line crossings. So I'll quickly show you how you to do that. So you have the activity, so you have loitering and line crossing there and you can select your camera. Notice you can select a third party OMVIF camera now also as well. And also off the back of that, if you wanted to detect a person, you'll see behind the driveway out, there's actually two zones in there. So I have two zones and it shows you which the two zones are. So you can now set an alarm based on a specific zone. So you only wanna be triggered in one area, not another. You can now rule out the individual zone rather than the whole thing. Now also within the playback, you can now have these buttons that you can click on here. So up and down skips the frame by one second. 
and the frame, if we go left and right, that can skip a single frame. So you now have granular control. L and J speeds the playback up and down, and you can use the space bar to either play or pause. And the last one I wanna show you is the playback on the detections. So we can see right here, we now have a timeline that we can use, that we can scrub across within the detection itself and you're not limited to the period of time of the detection itself. So if you want to scroll forward five minutes or go back five minutes, whatever it might be, you can do that quite easily now within the detection itself. That is the Unify Protect 5.2 update. And I think it's a really big update that's come along. There is the AI key, which has enhanced a lot of this. Alongside this, there is a lot of interesting features that have come out. Let me know what your favorite feature is of Unify Protect 5.2. And for now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.